For the last five years, development and growth have become mass movements, be it Assam or the rest of the country. This massive feat has only been achieved by creating large-scale awareness to ensure that people, as the largest stakeholders, understand their responsibility. Assam, with its vast natural wealth and ecological diversity, has been a prime example. Take, for instance, the Kaziranga National Park. Not only has it found mention in the Prime Minister's public addresses, the government has also taken some major steps to ensure that efforts to protect and conserve the state's ecological wealth are prioritised. We are with Mr. Uttam Saikya, former wildlife warden of Golaghat district in Assam and he's also the president of Bhumi, an NGO dealing with wildlife conservation. Namaste. Sir, so we would like to know uh, from you some of the conservation efforts that have been taken in the wildlife uh, Kaziranga uh, National Park that has led to the increase in rhino population to be very specific. Mm -hmm. Exactly, uh, yes, right. Uh, Kaziranga is the uh, ultimate uh, habitat of uh, one horned rhino in the world. Uh, it's already complete. I think uh, it's uh, one of the uh, important uh, rhino habitat in the world that has covered uh, 100 years of conservation success story. It's because of the community. You know, Kajunga National Park is surrounded by the so much of hundreds of hundred villages uh, in fringe village. All the fringe villages are there very friendly and very conservationist. Uh, that's why Kajunga uh, uh, completed 100 years of success and rhino population increase. One of key highlights has been the increase in awareness when it comes to wildlife conservation. Not just the public, but wildlife wardens and forest guards now understand their stake in protecting Assam's natural bounty. We spoke to Dimbeswar Das, a forest guard at Kaziranga National Park for the last 32 years. He was honoured with the Earth Heroes Award for his work towards saving the endangered Great Indian One-Horned Rhinos in Kaziranga. There was a lot of poaching so, कुछ ऐसा टाइम था आपको गोली भी लगी थी और फिर भी आपने नहीं जॉब छोड़ा आप रहे इसी पे आप थोड़ा अपने उस एक्सपीरियंस के बारे में बताइए 2009 सनत मैं তেতিয়া just Poaching and the number of people involved in it has seen a rapid decline over the last five years. This has been made possible only after the realization that any short term gains by resorting to poaching fall much too short when compared to the benefits of having a thriving population of rhinos in the state. So earlier times uh, in uh, 83 till 83, 90, 95, 97 like that, that area the rhino poaching is so high in Kajiranga National Park. Uh, the, but when the new government come in uh, Assam or India, they are taking, they are thinking about that, that we should do something uh, for the conservation of uh, rhino, protection of rhino. Uh, earlier there is a lacking in between the uh, uh, mm -hmm. difference uh, agency like police and forest department, there is no communication, so nothing, no tie-up and all this things the government now recently they are taking the initiative to make a tie-up in between the police and uh, the forest department and other agency also they work together they uh, built a team for working together for the protection of Kajunga National Park so this is why the rhino posing is little bit of control suddenly it's uh, coming to control and posing uh, figure is going down and on the other hand the post um, um, community the local villagers, they are um, give some more awareness. Mm -hmm. They are give them the, some importance of the park authority, some eco development uh, um, communities from in the fringe village. Mm -hmm. uh, they are facilitate 
by the government side, administration gives some money for construct their road and the ownership is coming up. The old villagers, they are feeling that yes, yes, Kajiranga is our park, our property. Uh, they are coming forward to protect the rhino. Through initiatives like setting up dedicated centers for wildlife rehabilitation and conservation or the CWRCs at the Kaziranga National Park, more concrete steps are being taken to ensure protection of endangered species under the IUCN list becomes a way of life. Look, administration of Kaziranga National Park is a very efficient administration and it has been for a long time. Uh, efforts can be seen after many years. Uh, so this is the peak time that we are in. Uh, getting increase in numbers of population also, increase in landmass also. So it is a team effort of everyone. Uh, you can include government, you can include uh, administration of all times. And then you can see that this has given a good result for now. And as we can say that Kajirang has come up as a conservation leader. Through centers of learning and awareness, efforts to build capacity have also taken shape. More than 300 new vets and rehabilitators have been trained at Kaziranga alone. This year means the year in which Corona hit uh, all over the world. In this year, it was a uh, we can say conservation year because of the additions and uh, increase in numbers, decrease in poaching and everything. So we can say it was good for conservation while the world was suffering from Corona, but it was good for things. India's big cat numbers have risen steadily over the years and it was only a matter of time before the same model was applied to wildlife in general. The 2017 rhino census in Kaziranga has shown positive results and with the reinvigorated endeavours to protect and preserve Assam's ecological diversity, it may not be too long before the entire process is set on a self-sustaining and positive trajectory. So that was all from us today on New India Junction from Kaziranga National Park. Do let us know in the comments below how you liked this conservation story. Until next time, this is Richa Devedi signing off.